as the executive producer of the Apollo, I am responsible for everything that happens on the stage. I would say I create magic on the stage. Camila Forbes is an award-winning director and producer whose body of work spans television and theater. From her work on the Broadway revival A Raisin in the Sun to The Wiz Live for NBC. Her programming and productions often infuse hip hop and spoken word, art forms that have inspired her since her youth. This is how she got here. I was first introduced to the theater at a very young age. One of the first musicals that I saw was a musical called Once on this Island. It's about a young Caribbean brown girl searching for true love. That was a musical that really changed my life. And it was one of the first times that I saw myself reflected and with all the bells and the lights and the magic of the theater, I thought, wow, I want to do that and I want to create that for other people, that kind of experience, that kind of magic. Growing up in Chicago, Illinois, of Jamaican parentage, both my parents were very much like you have three career options. You could either be a lawyer, you could be a doctor, of which she is, or an engineer, of which my dad is, um, and that was it. And so my second semester of school, I came home and decided that, you know what, um, I'm not going to be a doctor, I'm going to be an actor, and my parents uh, basically fell out. Mom didn't like that too much. It took me a little while, but it took mom a lot, uh, much, much longer. Yeah, you, you came around a lot easier. Yeah, no, mom didn't go for that at all. Because mom didn't see the ability to survive. <laughs> My mother said, well, we're not paying for that, so you need to figure it out. And they literally sent me back with no tuition money. But you know what, it taught me a huge lesson because it really forced me to think, okay, do I really want this? And I did. And it's, it's, it's not the easiest journey. Yeah, but you know, you gotta go with what you feel, yeah, or what true. you love. It's true. And so I literally knocked on every single administrative department head door, and I got a scholarship from the Department of Theater Arts that ultimately paid for my tuition for the next four years. But I had to work for it. And, and it's that kind of stick to that kind of focus and drive, that if you don't have that within the arts, it's a tough road because in the arts, you really have to make the road while walking. For me, it was a lot of having to go out on blind faith, on my own faith, and trusting myself that it would all come together at some point. After graduating from Howard University with a theater degree, Camila worked a series of side jobs, receptionist, bartender, roles that gave her the flexibility to work as an actress. A lot of times when there's a hard situation, we want to get over it quickly. Rip off the Band-Aid quickly and keep it moving, right? To get to the good part. But I think it's important that we walk through failure slowly. I remember I was told this, that, that it couldn't work, it can't work. That's a pipe dream. But trust your voice. And I think every moment of failure should be a moment of learning. Love it. I like this take, you're right. Yeah, this it's is a really it. good That's take. the one. That's yeah. the one. It's, it's after co-founding the Hip Hop Theater Festival, which produced shows at the intersection of arts and hip hop, she moved to New York City. When I moved in about 2001, I met um, a director who ultimately would become my mentor. That mentor was Stan Lathan, a legendary director and producer. He'd become instrumental in helping her ascend the entertainment industry. Because of the work that I was doing with the Hip Hop Theater Festival, I was in the spoken word community, so I knew all those players. I interviewed as an assistant. He said, actually, I'm not going to hire you as my assistant. I think I have something better. And, and so then I became a talent executive on a show that ultimately became uh, Deaf Poetry Jam. Let's get it going. I got a story to tell. Deaf Poetry. Poetry. And then eventually executive producer. And then I became the tour director of that show as well. And on Broadway, that show toured nationally, internationally, um, won a Peabody Award, um, a Tony Award. And I think working with Stan was a really pivotal moment in my career because it also opened up this potential of directing for television. He being one of the early first black directors in Hollywood, um, it was really pivotal to see him in action um, and to have a model that I can say, okay, he did it and so can I. So being able to maintain good and healthy relationships are key. Not burning bridges are key. How you treat people, very simple, is key. Particularly in this business because the entertainment business is quite small. I 
Another pivotal career moment was actually a concert that I creative directed and produced at the Kennedy Center with Nas and the Symphony Orchestra. It was the 20th anniversary of Nas's Illmatic album. And at that time, the National Symphony had never collaborated with a hip hop artist. And so that was a dream project. My one piece of career advice is to try everything. Once you try everything, you will find your purpose and your passion, but don't feel as though you have to be limited by anyone else's expectations, choices, decisions. We only have one life. That moment when I'm in the theater and the lights go dim and the audience feels that magic or that moment of transformation or walk out feeling transformed from the theater, that's when I know I'm in the right space. This is exactly what I was set here to do. I'm walking and living in my purpose and as long as I have those moments in front of me, then I know I'm in the right space.